Hey Nova, it's October 2023 and we're here with the latest on the Northern Virginia real estate market. Now while trends can vary widely nationwide, our local market often paints a very different picture. We consistently monitor several different metrics, but the one that paints the best picture is our inventory numbers. This is essentially our supply and demand how long homes stay available on the market for potential buyers. We track this at both the city and the county levels, and today we're gonna to dive into the latest data for our region as of the end of September. So right now in Loudoun County, as of the end of September, 2023, we have 1.27 months of inventory, which is up just about 10% compared to August of 2023. In Fairfax County in September, we had 1.13 months of inventory, which is up 13% from August. When we look at this year on year and compare it to September, 2022, Loudoun has about 10% more inventory this year, while Fairfax has about 4% less this year than last. Now, one of the next stats that we look at is our days on market. So in September 2023, the median days on market in both Loudoun and Fairfax County was seven days. This is up just slightly from the month before. In August, it was at six days in both counties. Now, this is about half of what it was this time last year, where we saw median days on market in both counties at the 15 to 16 day mark. So despite interest rates being higher now than they were this time last year, homes are actually selling quicker in comparison. Now, as was expected coming into 2023, the number of overall transactions across the country is down, and that is certainly the case in Northern Virginia as well. In Loudoun County in September 2023, we had a total of 347 transactions, which is down from the 462 that we saw in August. So that's about a 25% decrease in overall homes to sell from August to September. In Fairfax County in September 2023, we had a total of 830 transactions, which is down from the 1100 that we saw in August. So that's about a 20 1% decrease in Fairfax County as well. In both counties, year on year, this equates to about a 25% decrease in the number of homes selling. Now, when we look at what homes are selling for in comparison to what they're listed for, on average, homes are selling between 100.5 and 101% of their list price in both of these counties. Now, keep in mind that this is an average. It's certainly um, a case-by-case -case thing, but this percentage is trending down as we've entered into Q4 compared to what we saw earlier this year, but this is what we would expect to see cyclically in our Northern Virginia market. We've continued to see healthy appreciation across Northern Virginia despite rates climbing higher this past month. As always, it's vital to stay informed, especially when our local market often differs from the national narrative. So if you want to have a discussion and a strategy session around how our local market climate impacts the decisions that you should be making for you and your family, please feel free to reach out anytime.